Hello and welcome to Arithmetic Sequences. Okay, so let's get into it. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers that has a constant common difference of any two successive numbers of the sequence. What does that actually mean? So if you have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, if I subtract two successive numbers, and the word successive means numbers that are right next to each other, so I would take 6 uh, minus 3, I would take 9 minus 6, 12 minus 9, 15 minus 12, 18 minus 15. If that is constant, then I would say that this is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 3. Okay, so then I have the explicit formula of an arithmetic sequence. So this is the basic formula. A sub n is the nth term of the sequence. A sub 1 is the first number of a sequence. D is the common difference. So the first four examples, find the common difference, 35, 32, 29, 26. So I'm going to take 32 minus 35, and what am I going to get? 29 minus 32, what am I going to get? And 26 minus 29, what am I going to get? I'm going to get D equals negative 3. So that's my common difference because it was constant, which means it was the same for every two successive numbers, every two numbers that were right next to each other. So let's do the next one. 2 minus negative 3, 7 minus 2, 12 minus 7, and then 17 minus 12. D equals 5. Very good, because it was constant, right? Um, number 3, negative 3, negative 23, negative 43, negative 63. Let's do negative 23 minus negative 3. Let's do negative 43 minus negative 23. Let's do negative 63 minus negative 43. You get a common difference of... 20, negative 20, okay? And then last but not least, let's do negative 12 minus 4, negative 24 minus negative 12, negative 40 minus negative 24, and then negative 60 minus negative 40. So negative 12 minus negative 4 is going to give me what? Right? And then negative 24 minus negative 12 is going to give me what? Okay. And then negative 40 minus negative 24 is going to give me what? So you see how it's not constant. The sequence is not an arithmetic sequence. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes. So example number five says find the first five terms of the arithmetic sequence and the named term. So it's easy when they give you the formula to find a sub 1, which is the first position, you're going to plug in a 1. To find a sub 2, which is the second position, you're going to plug in 2 for n. And then to find a sub 3, you're going to plug in 3. Boom, we're going to do some math. 7 times 1 is 7, plus negative 11 is negative 4. 7 times 2 is 14, plus negative 11 is 3. And then 7 times 3, which is 21, plus negative 11 is going to give me 10. So I can easily see that I'm going from negative 4 to 3 to 10. So that's going to be plus 7 each time. So that's what my common difference is. So to find the rest of them, I could just add 7. So 10 plus 7 is 17. And then 17 plus 7 is going to give me 24. Okay, so it also asked us to find the named term. So it says find a sub 34. So what I'll do is I'll take the formula that they gave me and I will put 34 in for n. So 7 times 34 is going to give me 238. And then negative uh, 11 plus 238 is going to give me 227. So that's what a sub 34 is. Ta-da! Okay, let's do example 6 out of 10. Example 6 out of 10. 
Okay, given the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic sequence, find the first five terms and the explicit formula. So I only have the first term and the common difference. So I'm just gonna add, right? 28 plus 10 is 38, so that's a sub two. Uh, a sub three is 38 plus 10. 48 plus 10 is a sub four. And then a sub five is 58 plus 10. So the next first five terms are 28, 38, 48, 58, 68. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So now I wanna find the explicit formula. So given the, the general formula up there, I'm gonna plug in some numbers. So for a sub one in purple, that's 28. D is gonna be 10, that's an orange. And then the n minus one was already in the formula up there on the screen, right? So I'm just gonna simplify. I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that 10. And then once I distribute that 10, I'm gonna combine my like terms, which are 28 and negative 10. Drop in those parentheses, baby, because there's nothing to do inside the parentheses, so I can just skip to combining my like terms. So a sub n equals 10n plus 18. That is my general formula. Example number seven out of 10. Okay, given a formula in an arithmetic sequence and the common difference, find the first five terms and the explicit formula. So same little situation, but this time they gave me a sub 38, not a sub one. Makes my life a little bit more difficult, but not that much difficult. So using the general formula up there, I'm gonna plug in. So a sub 38 is gonna be negative 53.2, plus a sub one, I do not know a sub one, that's important here, okay? But I do know that the position is 38, so I'm gonna put 38 minus that one, and then 1.1. 1 .1. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do my parentheses first, so 38 minus one, so that's gonna give me 37, and then I'm gonna do multiplication, because that's the next thing that we do is multiplication. Um, and it's gonna give me a sub one minus 40.7, notice that plus turned into a minus because 37 times negative is gonna give me a negative 40.7. And then I'm gonna move the 40 from both sides, the negative 40, so I'm gonna add it, right? If I do it on one side, I gotta do it on the other, baby, okay? So it's gonna simplify out. So negative 12.5 equals a sub one. So now that I have that a sub one equals negative 12.5, I am going to put it into my formula and I'm going to find the first five terms. So a sub one is negative 12.5, a sub two has to be negative 12.5 plus negative 1.1 which is negative 13.6. So a sub three is gonna be negative 13.6 um, plus negative 1.1, negative 14.7, right? Plus negative 1.1, and da, da 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 So far so good? So now I have the first five terms, negative 12.5, negative 13.6, negative 14.7, negative 15.8, and negative 16.9.